Um, I think that if you listened to a lot of people, put him in the same bag as um, Tim Buckley. Um, well, put him in the same bag as people who are dead, Jim Croce, all of that sort of era. But I say, even in addition to that, if you listen to uh, Jim Webb, I think of songwriters from that time. If you listen to it now, you know it was written in the late 60s, early 70s. If somebody had never heard of Nick, I would put on Five Leaves Left, Brighter Later or Pink Moon and say to them, this album came out last year. I don't think they would doubt me. Yeah, it, maybe Brighter Later, maybe, because when I listen to Brighter Later, I think, well, maybe it's a bit dated, I don't know. But well, that, that's simply because Brighter Later was a conscious attempt to make a commercial album. I mean, Nick wanted it to be commercial, and so we were listening to Pet Sounds, trying to get it more and get a little more upbeat, some brass, things like that. But at the same time, it has still got on it Northern Sky and things like that, which, I mean, it's the, the greatest love song ever written, you know, sort of thing. And uh, so I think that's the thing about it. It's timeless. And also, all young men go through that period of angst and soul searching and all. And, uh, well, anyway, particularly the sort of student type of people who sort of want to ask questions about themselves and I think that's the there will always be that generation of people ready to listen to Nick's stuff because of that. <laughs>